What's up everybody, I'm Shade, welcome back to Career Mode with Chelsea, episode 38. And of course we have uh, left off of facing Juventus, we have to face Juventus in the Champions League semi-finals. The first leg of course, and it'll, it'll be at uh, the Juventus Stadium, so we are playing away the first leg. But uh, before the match actually starts and I talk about the highlights, I want to say that last episode I of course asked you guys if, uh, if um, basically how many of you are still interested in this series. Because if not, I can just like uh, uh, let it go and just focus on my other series. But uh, I, I like the response that I got that a lot of people were saying, that, please um, keep it going because we enjoy it. Some Somebody was even saying that all of the changes that I've been making in my Chelsea team in this career mode, he has been making it. Uh, he has been making them in his career mode, which is um, flattering and uh, all kinds of bunch of words I, I don't know. And uh, just uh, thank you for that response. And uh, here's the thing: like, uh, obviously, some people still enjoy it, but some people are just uh, like new subscribers, especially they just uh, came here for Neymar Rising or maybe by, might become a legend. And uh, when I upload this, um, they're always like, uh, "Do Neymar Rising?" And they were amongst the people that were saying that I should stop the series. And the thing is. Uh, because I'm uploading this doesn't mean by any means that I that it uh, affects me uploading like the other series that I have so people like that 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 uh, they're just basically selfish there's no other word to describe them you basically just uh, to, if you don't enjoy something don't watch it uh, and just wait for the stuff that you do enjoy but that's that's how subscribers are these days they're just uh, kind of uh, self-centered but uh, anyway let's get into the gameplay so we won the first leg 1-0 against Juventus we were uh, pretty dominant we had uh, twice as many shots as they had but uh, they had a very good possession game going and on top of the possession game they had my only weakness which is the team pressure like if done right it's very 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 effective uh, some people try it online and some people fail online because they just hold the teammate contain button aimlessly and that just leaves them open to every one two and every counter attack possible but that's not how the computer does it on world class they just do it so suffocating like that um, many times they're just left with no passing options and no space to move in that's how good they are but uh, we do of course have the second leg as well after we simulated the match against West Ham and um, my problem is when I simulate matches I always forget that I need to watch my players fitness as well and that's why we got like two um, players that are injured and we are going to get a third uh, I think uh, Sako actually is injured right now so we have Sako injured we have um, we have Davi Luiz and another player that is injured simply because I forgot to rest them in a simulated match so that is just um, a noob move from me but uh, of course second uh, leg is uh, on um, the Stamford Bridge we are playing at home against Juventus uh, they are actually uh, quite dominant this one because of course we come here with uh, with an away goal and they just uh, have to work hard to get their their team in the game. Uh, Jovinko gets the ball inside the box near post, beats De Gea. Not nothing he could have done even though it was near post. Jovinko, very good player, is he's one of my actual favorites. When he was uh, five star skills a few months ago when FIFA had just come came out, basically I used Juventus in seasons mode to get from. Uh, Division 7 to Division 1 pretty much and uh, it was all Jovinko because he was just a uh, he was just awesome skiller but uh, of course we have another shot there we had to come back in the game it was it was tight at this point Aubameyang hitting the post there of course he's he's carded he's booked I didn't show you that why he got booked but it was the stupidest thing ever anyway we do actually get uh, at full time uh, with the score at 1-0 of course they had the twice as many shots as we had this this um, time around uh, Ibarbo there running down the wing Aubameyang gets saved by check and then Honda Kisuki Honda at the near post gets the rebound and of course we are going to just run not even celebrate because that might as well be the goal that gets us into the finals um, before the game I forgot to mention they showed check uh, of course uh, Juventus bought check from us but they showed him and the commentator was like it's the first time that He's like, uh, he's like basically facing his old buddies and now they're enemies. But it's not the first time. If you check the highlights, in the first leg, Czech was the goalkeeper. So I don't know what the commentators are on about. Anyway, Victor Ibarbo gets the, the second goal for us in the 106th minute. And then we have a corner. But 2-1 uh, in this one. We are 3-1 on aggregate. It's pretty safe to say that we are through to the final and that what we are because it's end it's the end of the match 
um but uh, of course we have the defenders are pretty much uh, like we have uh two defenders with which be, being um being uh david luis and sako and then another play that i can't remember but they're injured we had to play we have to play sock no 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 sako but Ake. we have to play Ake as a um there it is sako gets the injury right there but we have to play Ake as a first team defender and he's just he got the pace but he's not strong enough uh sometimes against the uh, really good attackers but um yeah to be honest what i'm thinking about of course we have a match with arsenal by the way uh, and uh, I'm just going to show you the goals for this one, not extended highlights, because uh, it's not uh, it's not that important as the Champions League fixture, especially the semi-final. Anyway, I was saying that you know, for my final season, I, I I hate myself when I keep talking about this because I've been talking about it forever. But in my final season, uh, even before that, maybe I'm thinking of going back to my beloved 4-2-3-1 because the uh, the 3-5-2, I don't know, like on Ultimate Team, it's super effective. It's probably the most overpowered formation this year, the 3-5-2 on Ultimate Team, but on career mode, I don't really like it. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go, I didn't sell my wing backs. I listed all of them uh, available for transfer, uh, but uh, they didn't sell, so I might as well just get back to, to the 4-2-3-1, and that would be good because uh, in the 3-5-2, you have to have three center backs, in the 4-2-3-1, of course, only two, so it wouldn't be as hard as it is now because I have uh, the two that David Luiz and Sako injured. Uh, we can see the penalty there, and I really don't know. Like even editing, it, the only explanation would be that there was a handball. And of course, every time you don't know why what that was a penalty, and you try to leave the replay, you get no replay. You just get the player pr protesting. But when it's like really, really obvious that you slid in or or messed up, you get the replay, and it's like look at your dumbass sliding side tackling. But when you actually want to know, it, you just don't get the replay. Anyway, they only got one back because of that. Look at that. Look at those stats. 16 or 8. Was that 18 or 16? But anyway, 14 shots on target for us. We could only get two. Vidal, of course, after the match, he was saying that he doesn't get enough play time. Don't worry, you will uh, as soon as I switch back to the 4-2-3-1. Even now, I, I kind of forgot him too. Uh, because Ramirez and Boateng both have really good stamina. And those are my two CDMs. And um, that's why i kind of been forgetting to get Vidal in the team. Uh, anyway, this is episode is coming to an end. Uh, let me know if you're still excited about the final season that I keep talking about, or you completely forgot what was that all about. Anyway, next episode will start, of course, with um, against uh, Manchester United. Apparently, also I forgot to talk about the final. Apparently, we are going to face Bayern Munich in the final. Uh, they beat the Inter five to two to get into the final, and they beat Barca two to one. Uh, in the semi fight in the quarterfinals, so uh, apparently not 7 0 like it happened in real life. But uh, of course, we are going to face Bayern Munich. I, I hope it's in the next episode. Like, after we face Man United, we are probably going to simulate the the, the other matches because they're probably going to be low fixtures. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the final. Please let me know if you are as well. Anyway, this episode is again coming to an end. I've been Shade. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.